Hi, folks. Very, very quickly, I'm going to give you a very topical little explanation today. Sectional title insurance when it comes to solar panels. Solar panels, very topical at the moment. How do I insure these things? Okay, so firstly, we're going to assume that you're talking about normal panels, the PV panels on the roof. You're talking about load shedding risks, and you're wanting to protect yourself. So you've gone and bought yourself solar panels, inverter, and batteries in your garage. That's your normal basic system. Uh, I'm assuming you've got your correct permissions for it. The body corporate's approved it. There's probably a conduct rule that's covering how it must be dealt with, if not even exclusive use area for the area that you're using. Okay, notwithstanding that, the insurance part is the easy part. So what we do is we just say, first of all, um, are they movable or is it a permanent structure? Well, it's normally a permanent structure. So for today's purposes, permanent structure. We're assuming those PV panels on the roof are there permanently forever. And we also assume that the batteries and the inverter, that will stay. You move out, that stays. The new owner is effectively buying that from you. That's what's in your section. Okay, remember, the piece that's on the roof is effectively on common property, arguably not yours. It now belongs to all of the owners. And the piece that's actually uh, in your section is yours because it's within your section. Okay, theoretically and perhaps legally debatable, but I'm not going there. I'm just insuring it. Okay, we then take that to the insurance company and we ask them to insure it. Okay, subject to how the body corporate and or the owners want to deal with it. It can be insured basically in two ways. Okay, now remember some of the policies are material damage type policies with wordings that cover material risks that are listed and others are all risk type wordings. Okay, so you've got two different types of policies. But anyway, let's assume that they are more or less being dealt with in the same way. So if you are going to want to just cover those panels on the outside as part of the building for normal perils, excluding theft, let's just say for fire, storm, and so on, it's very simple. It's a normal building's rate, which is very cheap. Okay, it's as little as 10 rand per 100,000 per month. So it's very little, if not having any impact on your premium. Um, and that would even include the batteries and everything. Um, now, the part that's on the roof, uh, we would show as a common property line item, whether it's a de facto exclusive use area or an exclusive use area or just on the common property, but we'll show it. And then we'll show the piece that's within your section, your batteries and the inverters and that. We would add to your additional sum column. Okay, so we split it. We do it properly. In some cases, we don't really worry. It might be over the top, but it is better to do it correctly. That's the way we feel. We've shown it. Here's an indication for you. Uh, and you can have a look and see um, how we do it. Okay, now um, that's all very well. But if you want it covered for theft, then you must tell us. And it gets covered on an all-risk basis, just specified, you could say. Um, even though the policy is an all-risk policy already, most likely, uh, the three policies we work with are really all risk policies, but the theft is limited. I'm talking about the theft on external is actually limited. So you you would you would might only have a ten thousand rand limit there for the whole complex, and now you know maybe everybody's solar system gets stolen at the same time. So if you want to cover the panels for theft, which is probably what you would want to do it's going to cost extra. Could be 5% of the value per annum, could be more. Okay. Then, of course, uh, inside, the inside parts, um, you know, arguably they are covered for if, if theft from the building, but um, the problem that you might have is the amount. Um, and we can look at that on an on a individual basis. But I'm not too worried about the inside fixtures uh, from a theft point of view are more concerned about the external these days. Okay, so there we go. I hope that uh, uh, sums it up nicely for you. Um, we have got more detail about the 
structuring of schedules of replacement value in uh, the schedule of replacement value video uh, that you can see here. Um, but this is just a quick solo one. Go well. See you again.